hiker discovers something astonishing 100 feet below the Arizonian Slot Canyon. People often say that life is an adventure, and we should live like one. Everybody around us and people all around the globe are living their own adventures, and there are a few stories that make their story worth sharing. Here's one of the stories that made the news, and believe us when we say, this story is on another level. It's adventurous and inspiring at the same time. This guy here wouldn't have imagined that his life's journey would take this turn which will change his life forever. Just like tales where a guy wanders around in a forest and finds something amazing for which he was destined for, the same happened with this guy. Though he was not wandering in the forest, he was there in the mountains only to find this unbelievable thing for which he was destined. Let's explore his adventure and be ready to get amazed. Zachary Anderegg has always been an adventurous guy. He likes to live in the moment, and little did he know, one moment was there waiting for him to change his life forever. He's a passionate hiker and mountain climber, and if not found in his home, then there's a possibility you could find him hiking in Arizona or the southern Utah Slot Canyons. It was one of these days when Zachary discovered something that changed his life forever. Slot Canyons of North Arizona are one of the favorite places of Zachary, and he often visits the place to clear his head and if he has to make some important decisions in his life. But this date, June 20th, 2010, which he will never forget in his lifetime, changed the course of his life. As usual, he was alone hiking and exploring the Slot Canyons when he stumbled on something. He couldn't believe this unusual sight in front of him. His next step changed everything. It's not every day that you can just decide to go hiking. It takes lots of thought to be sure if it's a day you can go out and spend some quality time. You need to see if the sky is clear and there's no heavy wind flowing, which could make the hiking difficult. But in Zachary's case, everything was in perfect order. The sun was shining bright and the wind was smooth and soothing. It was the perfect day to discover something perfect. See, before you decide to go on an adventure, like hiking and climbing the mountain, all by yourself, you must take care of certain things. Though Zachary was an experienced hiker, he still takes care of several things before he leaves. He makes sure that all his gear like ultralight backpack, the stock of food and water, quality ropes that are usually used for hiking, and most importantly lightweight sneakers, hiking shoes, are in order. But that day, Zachary didn't check his gear before leaving and he didn't even tell his wife. But why did he do that? As we told you, Zachary is an experienced hiker and often goes trekking and mountain climbing. But on June 20th, 2010, he didn't take all the precautions he used to. It was very sudden for him to decide the day. One moment he saw the clear sky and another moment he was wearing his shoes. He just felt like leaving the house and in a rush, he didn't even check his backpack. But as they say, everything that happens, happens for a reason. He reached the slot canyons of North Arizona and he could feel that something was different. Every step he took brought him closer to his destiny. He decided to hike on a different route that day, which wasn't his style when it comes to hiking. The regular hikers always choose to hike on the same route, but Zachary felt that he needed to explore the other side, which he has always thought of, and it was destiny reading the script. Soon he will discover something that he hasn't thought of. Zachary prepared himself mentally because today he was going to explore the other side of the canyon. The silence made him listen to his own heartbeats which were beating rapidly. He sat down for a while to calm himself before he left for an adventure of a lifetime. He thought of everything that could go wrong, but even that didn't change his mind. The other side of the canyon felt like some other world, and he was the explorer who needed to discover this other side. But the path wasn't easy, and he found out very soon. Zachary stood up and was ready to leave. He picked up his backpack and tied his shoes. He took a deep breath and walked toward the other side of the canyon. The sun was over his head and the sweat on his body was soothing his body from all the light wind that was flowing on that height. He took his first step inside the slot canyon, and he could see how deep these rocky paths go. He felt like the canyon was sinking him inside, and the gap between the walls shrank with every step he took. For one moment, it was so dark that he couldn't see his own feet, and was really afraid to move, and all of a sudden he lost his control because of all the sweat from his hands. Zachary kept going inside before he could realize how deep he had already come. He could feel the hotness around him, and the sweat made his grip loose. And that was it. 
he lost control of his grip, and when he thought about falling deep in the canyon, his feet touched the ground and the sky was clear now from all the clouds that covered the sun before. Now the sunlight found the way through the darkness and Zachary was able to see that he was surrounded with rocks, but when he thought this was the deepest he could go, he saw a little opening and he could see that there was something deep down there. What was it? To Zachary, who was an experienced hiker, he knew the depth of this opening he found below his feet. It was almost a hundred feet deep and Zachary saw something that made him curious. He was hanging between where he couldn't decide if he should go down or should go back as it was already getting late. But what is that? He couldn't make anything because of the height, but he was now really intrigued. Soon he will see something unexpected, but reaching a hundred feet down won't be easy. Zachary was searching for extra rope in his backpack when he realized that he hadn't brought one. He couldn't pull the one he had used before because he also needed to go up. Without the rope, he can't go down in the opening. The rope wasn't the only problem he was facing, but it was the light that kept decreasing with time. He thought of leaving, but then he has to do it all over again, and he didn't know if the condition would be as smooth like today. What if the next day that thing wasn't there? He needed to find out what that thing was. Believe us, it'll blow your mind. Zachary was keeping an eye on things, which could be seen from that height. Now it will be dark and he wasn't sure of coming back anytime soon because it wasn't easy for him to reach where he was standing right now. He had to do something and really fast. He thought of every possibility in his mind so that he can easily reach 100 feet below. What he did next was shocking. All of a sudden he realized that he had an extra rope in his backpack that he always carries around for a situation like the one he was in but he wasn't sure if it's still there because he didn't check for it before leaving. He took off the backpack from his shoulder and searched for that extra rope. Thankfully, he found it and couldn't believe his luck. Now he was all set to move further. Now wait, what was that noise? There was this noise that he was not sure of hearing before. He was inside the canyon for over two hours and this noise was very sudden. He was sure that the noise was coming from down below and was now more intrigued. What is that? Because of the echo, he couldn't recognize the sound. He picked the rope and decided to check it out. He would soon find out the origin of the sound. Zachary tied the rope that didn't reach the ground completely, but that wasn't an issue. The real issue was the inclination of the mountain that Zachary was using to reach down. He actually had to drop five to 10 feet in one go, which wasn't an easy thing to do. He knew the circumstances that come along with the drop. You always have the possibility of the rope breaking from the middle. But Zachary didn't stop there and did the first drop of five feet. The deeper he went, the noise became louder and louder. The first drop, which was of five feet, didn't cause Zachary any problem. And even the second drop, which was of eight feet, was successfully achieved. But the third drop, which was almost 20 feet, made him really worried. It was literally hanging in the middle, struggling to support his legs and hands, where he could rest them for a bit from all the dropping. He could hear some movements below and he couldn't see anything. There was this sound and now the movements which made him really worry. Without thinking anything else, Zach made the drop of 20 feet. What happened next? Zachary wasn't feeling anything when he made the fall of 20 feet. He had his eyes closed and fist holding the rope really tightly. And with a sudden jerk, he stopped and opened his eyes to see where he was. The ground was just two feet below him. He freed himself from the rope and jumped down. Now when he achieved the goal of reaching down, he searched for the origin of the sound and that thing which was making a painful noise. Soon his mind would be blown. Now Zachary was in search of the thing which he saw from above. What was it actually? He saw nothing around him but could hear the continuous sound and didn't know where it came from. Because of the echo, the sound felt like it was coming from everywhere and it was getting very difficult for Zach to identify the source of the sound. But he saw a stone in front of him. And when he got close to the stone, he saw something at the back of the stone hiding. So what Zachary saw from above and the source of the noise was a trapped dog. He was shocked to see a dog in a place like this. The dog wasn't in pain, but it was definitely feeling lonely. The dog wasn't looking very well. Zachary could count his bones from all the malnutrition he was suffering. Going by the circumstances, the poor dog was left here to die. Who would do such a horrible thing? Zachary was determined to save the dog because it was just a matter of time, and he knew the dog wouldn't survive in a place like this. He rushed and left the place to bring the dog some food and water. He knew that helping the dog in his present condition where Zachary didn't have proper gear to move the dog from this place, 
he needed to assemble all the required accessories before he could rescue the dog. Time was an issue, and he knew if the rescue was delayed any further, the dog would meet his horrific fate anytime soon. Zachary knew he has to do everything really fast. The dog needed to see a vet as soon as possible. He got so attached to the dog that he couldn't think of anything else but saving the dog. He realized that those noises he was hearing while hiking from the canyon were dogs' cries asking for help. Just remembering the noises in his head brought shivers to his spine. In search of help, Zachary went to the police and fire department and told them about the abandoned dog left to die inside a canyon. He got no help from both the departments, as it was not some priority for them. He was saddened to hear it, but that didn't shake his motivation to help the dog. Zachary could only find a cat carrier which he got from the local animal home. Time was limited and he was running out of it. This time Zachary was fully prepared and brought all of his gear with him in order to save the dog. He knew how much time all the hiking took the last time he visited, so he didn't delay and went to the canyon the moment the sun rose. He was determined to save the dog and nothing could stop him in doing that. He met the dog again and what he saw was really shocking. Just by looking at the dog, Zachary could tell he is not doing well. From the last time he saw the dog, he was looking more tired and pale. The dog couldn't even stand when he saw a stranger coming toward him. Zachary knew it was now or never. He lifted the dog, placed him inside the crate he got from the shelter and slowly moved toward the sky. Zachary was holding the dog very carefully in the crate and opened his car door to place the crate in the seat. He rushed to the local animal hospital where the dog will stay for a couple of days until he gets fully examined. He was in shock to hear that the dog had been abused by his previous cruel owners who used to shoot him with shotgun pellets. The scars on his body were still visible and even his teeth which turned black due to improper nourishment. Zachary was angry and in tears after hearing about his abuse. Who could do such a thing to a pure soul like this dog? For what joy in life? Thanks to the care provided by the staff from the animal hospital, Zachary could see life again in the dog's eyes who was still extremely weak but in his heart he knew he would make it. While the dog was recovering in the hospital, Zachary and his loving wife took care of the dog and searched for his permanent home, which the dog deserved. Finally, the vet said that he is out of any further danger and Zachary could take the dog home. Zachary was told that he was still really weak from all the medications and injections, but the dog did wag his tail when he saw Zachary. That moment was priceless and actually made him happy after so long. Still, he has to cover a very long way before he could recover perfectly. The dog was getting all the love and care from the couple who never left the dog's sight. They were there whenever he needed them. The dog showed some really surprising changes in his condition and was getting stronger every day. But there was something else that Zachary was feeling for the dog. It was the love that had grown between the two. He even gave the dog a name, Shadow. It was now all about Shadow and Zachary. Even though Zachary was searching for another home for Shadow, he soon realized that Shadow has become a part of the family, and the thought of giving him to somebody else shook him from the inside. Zachary decided not to give away the dog, as it was his destiny to meet the dog and bring him into his life. The love for the dog even motivated Zachary to write a memoir. Eventually, the local media caught wind of this amazing story, and both Zachary and Shadow appeared in several TV shows. Zachary, who found Shadow, now Riley, in a place where no human can survive without food and water, changed the way he saw his life. He believed that his fate gave him a new meaning in his life, and there is no better satisfaction than saving a pure soul like Riley. Today, Zachary and Riley have started their own adventure. Riley even has a brother now, named Koei. Both of them often go for new adventures with their loving dad. Zachary feels really happy to see both Riley and Koei mingling together so well, and who enjoy the canyons as much as he does. The bond of this perfect trio is really inspiring for people like us who see good in everything. Today, Riley is in a good place and is very happy. Riley even has a social media page on Facebook, which is followed by thousands of people. Zachary even wrote, he has become a cherished member of our family. He is without a doubt one of the sweetest dogs I've ever known. We hope this love remains forever. This story tells us about the meaning of life. It's all about love. There are other stories just like Zachary and Riley that might inspire you even further. It is often said that love is the best therapy you could give to a person. It goes for animals too. The hugging dogs became a hot topic all over social media after their photos surfaced online. 
the Georgia Animal Shelter posted a photo on Facebook in which two dogs are hugging each other before the pair was euthanized. The audience who saw the post wasn't ready for that, and the support started coming from everywhere. Later, the duo, Kayla and Kiera, found a new home. Harley wasn't in his best condition when his new owners adopted him. They knew that Harley wouldn't live long. He was rescued from a puppy mill where he lived in very pitiful conditions. And because of that, he lost one of his eyes, a broken tail, gnarled toes, heart disease, and infected teeth. Fortunately, the new owner showered him with love and care, and soon, Harley showed some steady recovery in his condition. The ASPCA also awarded him the title of 2015 American Hero Dog. Slim, the pit bull, was rescued from an abandoned house. He was left there by his previous owner, and the rescue people could see how scared he was. He became really friendly with the staff of the shelter, but they weren't able to find any home for this dog, who should have been in one. But Slim found his new love, a metal bucket. The shelter home people posted a photo of Slim holding his favorite bucket in his mouth, and it was just a matter of time. The adoption request started pouring in. Figo, the golden retriever, is a service dog who loves his blind owner blindly. Figo helps his owner and guide him around. He's also been trained to service blind people, and he did exactly what he was trained for. Figo was with his owner guiding him around when he jumped in front of the bus to save his owner. He is truly brave to do something like this. He even stayed with his owner until help arrived. Dogs have a very small life circle, and Poe, who was already 15, was near to meet his fate. His owner knew that it was time for his dog to part with him, but before it happened, he made sure to give the best time of his life. The owner posted every happening in Poe's life on Instagram, who explored 35 cities and traveled around 12,000 miles a day. Poe is 16 years old and looking strong with each passing day. Love can change everything around you, and the story of Poe proves that. Wiley today lives in his fourth home. The Four Paws Rescue in Oklahoma found him as a stray and brought him to the shelter. He was adopted by the family but was soon returned to the shelter and his present family was looking for a dog when they heard about this dog, they were more than happy to take him into their home. He was named Wiley and is living peacefully with his new owners. T-Rex was born with a condition that cost him one leg. The man who thought he was just a useless three-legged dog left him outside his store when he wasn't able to sell him. This lady saw this dog outside a store and gave him to the shelter and in no time, Karen Rogers fell in love with the dog and adopted him. Initially, there were a lot of difficulties with the dog because of his condition, but after three surgeries, he was able to walk. Rogers explained, My mom passed away three years ago from lung cancer. She was diagnosed and died within eight months. T would sit on my lap for hours in the evening as I went through my morning time. He has so much energy, but if I was sitting at my computer, he would curl up on my lap and just let me be sad, she added further. T-Rex is also philanthropic who often takes part in Paws for Love, where he paints not only his paws, but tail to support the cause. They support rescues by awarding grants to them to help with vet bills, Roger explained. They paid $1,000 towards T's surgery. So every year, T paints for them, and they sell it at the gala. He tries to help them raise money by showing people how donated money is used to help dogs and cats. Bear was found with injuries on his body, which he got from other stray dogs but thanks to Wonder Dog Rescue who helped the dog and brought him to their shelter. The problem was the shelter people weren't able to find any home for this loving dog who was in dire need. One day, Michelle and Jonathan Lowe contacted the shelter to inquire about available dogs for adoption and were excited to hear about Bear. After meeting Bear, we decided to give Bear a chance to be part of our family, Michelle said. The first month home, Bear was still fearful of strangers and nervous around the house. Since Bear had such a rough first nine years of his life, he's so grateful and happy every single day, Michelle added. My husband and I are amazed at how simple acts of love and care can turn a dog's whole life around.